Okay, I'm very much glad that you are here. And you know what? Yesterday I was the ICAC students. Okay, but then today I'm very much happy and glad that you all are here. Okay, so now we're going to start playing a game, and then we are going to today's story. Okay? Oh, I see boards. Thank you, thank you very much for doing it. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, you are all the ICAC students, right? Okay. Okay, others can you all give a round of applause? Okay, beautiful. Thank you very much. Okay, put your hands down. Put your hands down. Okay. So today we're gonna play a game, okay? Okay? Okay, the name of the game is Simon Says, okay? Ah, okay. So now, let me tell you the instructions, okay? When I say Simon Says, keep quiet. You all have to keep quiet, okay? So can we start this game? Yes? Okay. Simon says, put all your belongings down, everything, your kerchiefs, your bottle, your papers, your boards, everything down. Okay? Now Simon says, fold your hands. Simon says, no more talking, okay? Okay. So for the past two days, we had two beautiful songs that we learned and I'm sorry, I see these ones, you missed it. But then, what uh, song shall we sing now? The first song or the second song? We'll sing the first song now, but by the end we'll sing the second song. Okay? What's the first song? Okay. No Tata. Okay, so we'll sing the song and then we have a question and answer session also, okay? So shall we sing the first song? Are you all ready? Yes! Okay, hands folded, okay? Only for the actions you can unlock your hands, but then other than that, no moving your hands, okay? Let's sing. In three, two, and one. Okay, 
Thank you, come forward, okay? How many are there? Okay, three are there. Okay, one more, let me ask. Okay. Look, one question is for an open question for all the metric students, okay? Now tell me, who did they ask the, uh, the answer for the first question? Name the word. Okay, what is the answer? Crow. Wonderful. Shall we give a round of applause? Okay. Okay, the second question is, what do crows do when they get food? What do they do? Chat. Wonderful. Can you give them a round of applause? Okay, thank you. Okay, the third question, okay? How many apples did the little girl get? How many apples did she have? Two. Is it right? Okay, wonderful. Okay, the fourth question is, which apple did the little girl give to her mother? Was it the good one or the bad one? Bad one. No, it's a wrong answer. Okay, you go back to your place. Okay, let's, let's uh, you know, delete the question. We have one open question for the metric students, okay? How many of you remember the text of yesterday's lesson? Okay? Okay, you know, teachers, can someone help you with one student, please? Okay, is there uh, Marcus from fifth standard? Is Marcus there from fifth standard? Where's Marcus? Okay, Marcus, do you know the answer? Okay, Marcus, do you know the answer? Okay, is there Jemima from metric? Jemima? Jemima, you know the answer? Okay, someone, okay, I see a little boy coming there. Okay. Okay, now I see the children be ready, okay? What is the answer? Bad. Okay, no, that is not, I'm asking the key text. What is the key text? Okay, answer from there. Okay, share one another. Okay, go back to your place, okay? Okay, the key text was taken from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16, okay? Don't forget it. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16, okay? Can you all repeat it with me? Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16. Okay, now is the time for ICS students. You're all ready? Yes. Okay. Let me call a few people. Okay, is Elethia here? Elethia? Okay, Elethia, do you remember the first day's theme? What was the first day's theme all about? No man? Okay. Anyone from? Okay, that boy with the boat. Okay, what is the answer? Obedience. Okay, come forward. Okay. Uh, is it Adhavan from third standard? Adhavan, okay. Adhavan, tell me, what was the old man's name? Wonderful, come forward. Okay. Is there a girl named Laura Princey? Laura Princey, okay. Laura do you remember the villager's name? He was an old man, right? Do you remember his name? What, what was his name? No one not, not no one other. Mm -hmm.
students are going to help the ICSE students to learn it, okay? Shall we do it? Okay, let's sing the song. In three, two, and one. Ka, 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 ka
very few. Let me show you, okay? This is the picture of a praying mantis, okay? Can you all see this? No, ma'am? Okay, so once the meeting is done, we are all going to have a closer view, okay? So this... No, okay. This insect looks like a grasshopper, okay? But then it is not a grasshopper, okay? This insect looks like a grasshopper, okay? But it is not a grasshopper and this is the insect, okay? What is the name of the insect? Oh, everyone is here, okay? Let's all sleep then. Okay, what is the name of the insect? Okay, this praying mantis was in the Noah's Ark, okay? So it was there in Noah's boat. It was looking at what Noah was doing and what the other animals and all the other family members were doing, okay? Noah went near the praying mantis, okay? He went near the praying mantis and was keenly looking at the praying mantis, okay? But to his surprise, Noah saw the praying mantis in a kneel down position, okay? How did Noah saw the praying mantis? In a kneel down position. Okay, now tell me, why do we kneel down? Yes, to pray, right? At times, okay, when I was studying as a school student, I used to get punishments, okay? And the punishments were mostly kneel down, okay? But then, this praying mantis was not given a uh, punishment, but then, this praying mantis was literally staying in a position of prayer. Noah was very much shocked, okay? Who was shocked? Yes, okay? Noah was very much shocked and he was confused. He was like, why is this praying mantis always in a kneel down position? What is its problem, okay? When Noah started studying about this praying mantis, he came to know that this insect is a source of good luck, okay? People told him that this praying mantis is a source of good luck, okay? So every time someone sees this praying mantis, something good will take place in his life, okay? So this is what Noah came to know. And when Noah saw this praying mantis, he decided that every time he prays in his life, he will be blessed by God, okay? So Noah decided that, let me learn a lesson from this insect also. What, uh, what lesson did Noah learn from the crow? To share. Yes, beautiful. Noah learned from the sh uh, crow that he needs to share to his friends, to his family members and to everyone, right? When Noah saw this praying mantis, he decided that any time I get in my life, I need to pray. Now tell me, how many times do we pray in a day? Three times, okay? Four times? Five times? Okay. Okay, ten times, okay? We pray differently, right? And Noah decided that anything, okay, even if he goes out of his house or anything Noah does, he decided that he needs to pray before every activity that he does, okay? So now I have a story for you. Are you all ready for a story? Yes. Okay. There was a doctor, okay? There was a doctor who was working in America. Who was working in America? Okay, boys from behind, tell me. Where was the doctor working? Boys from behind there. Yes, okay. The doctor was working in America and it was a very good job, okay? This doctor was a world famous doctor and he was good at treating heart diseases. What diseases? But by the way, how many of you brought your heart with you? I left my heart in my hotel that I was staying. Did you all bring your heart? Like I left my heart in my hotel room. Did you all bring your heart? Why so they rest your heart? Inside. Okay, so everyone brought your hearts, right? So this doctor was a heart specialist. Where was he from? Okay, so this doctor was once traveling in his car, okay? He was traveling in his car and he went to an airport, okay? What does airport mean? Which vehicle will be there in airport? You all are brilliant students, okay? So they, this doctor wanted to board an aeroplane to go to a special place, okay? So this doctor was almost ready. He went inside the airport and he was ready to get inside an aeroplane, okay? As he was getting inside the airport, people in the airport told him, sorry sir, today that aeroplane is cancelled. The doctor was 
very much sad, okay? But of course, very sad because the aeroplane was cancelled. So he asked the members there, what should I do now? Can I go by any other means of transport? The people over there told him, take a car and go to the place, okay? So now, the doctor started travelling by a car. In which means he started travelling now? Yes, okay? The doctor started travelling by a car and he started driving, okay? Meantime, there was a heavy rain, okay? It was a heavy rain, the waters were flowing from heaven and the doctor couldn't see the road, okay? It will be hard for a driver, right, to, uh, to drive a car during its raining. So this doctor was finding it so much difficulty to drive the car. But still, the doctor continued driving, but at a particular point of time, he noticed that he has lost his way. Okay, now tell me, if you lost your way, can you reach your destination? No! No, right? So this doctor lost the way and he was thinking what to do, okay? He opened the window and he saw a house with a light bulb in front of it. What did he see? Okay, where was the light bulb hung? In the house, right? This doctor went running into the house and knocked the door. How did he knock the door? Yes, like this. He went there and he knocked the door and an old woman opened the door, okay? So the doctor said, can I come in, okay? The woman said, okay, please come in, okay? The woman uh, brought the doctor inside, gave him a piece of towel and some hot water to drink, okay? What did the old woman give the doctor? Why are you? 
find this is a real story. As this woman writes a story, she says, every time, okay, every time you pray and you ask God for something, He is always ready to help you. If you find difficulty in your studies, if you feel that I don't have good friends, if you feel that my family is undergoing problems, if you feel that my teachers are always calling me, if you feel that there's this boy who is always beating me or who is always bringing me trouble, if you always feel that anything I study is just going away, what can you do? You don't have to sit and cry, oh I am just bad at this, I don't have good friends. You don't have to sit and cry, instead what can you do? Yes.
here we're going to read one verse from 1 Thessalonians 5th chapter 17th verse, okay? 1 Thessalonians 5th ch uh, chapter 17th verse and it says, pray without ceasing. Do you know what does the word ceasing means? Ceasing means pray without stopping, okay? So every time God expects you to talk to him. What is the phone number of Jesus? Okay, Jeremiah 33, 3. Okay, so as you all come tomorrow, make sure you pray and ask God, Lord, you help me, you lead me. Because, you know, you can also ask God to help you to be obedient. You can also pray and ask God to help you to share things with others. And also, you know what, you can also pray to God to help you to pray. So thank you for being a good children. Thank you for being good listeners. May God bless you all. Are you all our good listeners? Yes, sir. Are you sure about it? Yes, sir. Great. The way you all are answering, I'm quite sure you all are listening good. So you all have jotted down the number, uh, phone number for Jesus. Yes, okay. okay. What's the, what's the